Did you know that by implementing a couple of different interactivity options in a Looker Studio report, you can give your dashboard viewers amazing flexibility when it comes to interrogating their data by letting them swap out metrics and dimensions in charts and tables on the fly. In this tutorial, I'll explain how it's done. So one of these interactivity options has been available in Looker Studio for a very long time and the other was added late last year. Let's look at the older one first. Here I have a simple time series chart showing website sessions by date over the last 28 days. What I can do to allow report viewers to change the metric or metrics being displayed in the chart is to switch on optional metrics here which gives us this button that lets us choose up to 10 additional metrics to include. For this example, I'm going to choose active users, engaged sessions, engagement rate, transactions and total revenue. Looking at the chart, you don't immediately notice anything different with it. It's only when you hover your mouse over it that you'll notice this button here, optional metrics. On clicking it, you can see the list of the metrics we added. Let's select active users and engaged sessions. They automatically appear in the chart alongside our original sessions metric. Pretty neat, huh? And it really allows viewers to dive deeper into the data. Or we could remove our original sessions metric and active users and instead see total revenue alongside engaged sessions. If at any time you want to go back to the original view, I can just click on this reset button here. Simple. And it doesn't just work for time series charts. It works for all chart types except maps and scatter plots. So that shows how to swap out metrics on the fly. But you can also do the same thing with dimensions by adding a control from here, specifically a dimension control that I'll put above the chart here. Currently, we have default channel group, which is the dimension currently in the charts query. And on the right here, I can add other dimensions. Let's add session source and session medium. Now those added dimensions appear as options in the control. And of course, I can also still have the optional metrics alongside the dimension control to allow me to really ask questions of my data and get answers back immediately. So you can have as many dimension controls in your report as you want. If you do, you'll need to be aware that a selection in one will override the selections in any others you have on the page. So if you want to use one dimension control for a single chart or a couple of charts, you can simply use the group function by selecting both the control and the chart, right clicking and hitting group. Now the dimension will only apply to the charts it has been grouped with and not affect any others. For me, dimension controls are a really useful addition to the report interactivity options alongside optional metrics, regular filters, drill down and other things like parameters. I think one of the only things that's missing now is the capacity to be able to change the chart type on the fly as well. Because once you swap out metrics and dimensions from a chart, the new result might be better suited to a different visualization type. So giving report viewers that option too would cover a lot more bases. Not a complaint, just a suggestion if you're watching Google. If you want to master Looker Studio, you'll want to check out my full five hour course available here at the Learn BI Academy. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Until then, bye.